welcome back. After re-equipping myself a little bit, I decided to take the hard Britannia to Minoc Way. I had some nasty encounters, including one with the Gargoyle Leader. And Dupree got a hopper with it from him. Look at that attack! 30! The best non-magical weapon in the game. Oh my. And yeah, we had a little fun. And yes, I had to go from Britannia. Because, hmm, yeah. But regardless, where are we now? We're fighting insects on our way to Minoc after going through the Kafalian Pass. So why'd I stop here? Well, I have a special treat for you. Our special treat for me, which is XP. Look at all these insects. All those tiny gray spots you see. Easy experience. Whopping 16 each. For insects. That's more than gargoyles. It's almost more than the gargoyle leader gave me. Who cast some nasty spills, by the way, like explosion and lightning? But far more importantly, Insect must die, because it got in my way. Never get in my way, Insect. Yes, we can all th walk through the poisonous marsh. Yes, the blue glowy stuff is no threat to us now. Thanks to the swamp boots. 120 each. It is well worth it. And we're almost there. Through the mudfish road. Indeed. That's what he calls the muddy road. And yes, finally we're here. Can you tell me where we are? You're just like the other guards. No information whatsoever. Unlike Oblivion, where the guards tell you everything. Speaking of tell us, us everything, can you tell us everything about you, Miss Elegant? Who are you, anyway? Lady Isabella, can you tell me about the rune that is down? We must find Selganor. He's a musician. Tell me about his music. Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. Ah, you're the Lord of Minoc. Minoc, a place for... Music is fun, and fun is music. And if I remember the virtue right now, I'd tell you. It is the virtue of sacrifice, because she just told me. The things I have to sacrifice. Let's hope I don't have to sacrifice one of my members. And I mean that as one of my party members. Hello there, Bard. Will you play us a tune? How did you know I was Magma? Guildmaster of the Bards. Hey, it's Gwino! Yeah, I've been far away. Tell me about your job. So, you no longer run the bow shop, eh? What do you want, like to run with yellow? Oh, yes! Mm hmm. And now we got Gwino. Who is a bit low level. I'll have to equip her better. But Gwino is Gwino nonetheless. And she will help us out through this part. You might not always find her here. You might find her around the weapon shop. Speaking of weapons, young man, do you have any weapons for us? Oh. Yeah, figures. So the people like to hang out in the bar place at night. What is your name? Michelle. Mm-hmm. Hello there, Michelle. Disappointing. 
Tell me about your baskets. Fine. Tell me about your father. A moving basket for eight people? Hmm. Ah, we'll have to ask her. Where's she's own business? Why is it always when people are in business? Can't people talk about their jobs? When they're outside of business? They do that all the time in real life. Speaking of wait. Shops don't stay past open till 6 around here. That's a shame. Seriously. It is a shame. So what am I doing here anyways? Well, as you know, you know I know, as I know. Am I delaying time? Why certainly. But we gotta do something with a U log. A me log? A U log. Indeed. But to do something, we gotta find a sawmill. But instead. Everybody's going to sleep on us. James. You're beyond help. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to wait till morning to do anything. <sighs> Seriously. One moment, and we'll wait till morning here. <laughs> 